everyone welcome back to another day in the sims 4 legacy a through z challenge looks like we left it off with everybody going to sleep so last episode we had a successful harvest fest but now we really need to focus on getting everybody well the children skilled up and growing up especially Bianca since she needs to grow up fast get married and start having children uh, in order for Alice to complete her aspiration so looks like Brianna woke up from a nightmare uh, looks like Alice is mo mostly rested so we can have her tell her she'll be okay and maybe put her to bed. This episode, Alice should be giving birth to baby number three of Generation B. No, you're not gonna read toddlers. Oh, is this in the way? We don't need that anymore. All right, Ray Todd's like, no, why can't you? There's nothing there. I don't see anything there. Ray Todd's like, go here and then Ray Todd's to sleep? No, that doesn't work. Can you just bedtime story maybe? No, that doesn't work. What's... but... There shouldn't be anything in the way now. Maybe now. No? Maybe you need to be reset? Does the bed need to be reset? Well, that's... unfortunate. Um... Well, she's fine now, so I guess she can go to sleep on her own. I guess you can just go to sleep. Alright. That's one way of doing it. Just waiting until the toddler can sleep again. Is that room just lit up because of the... Let's see, let's like make sure... Okay, there we go. I was like, that room just seems like it's too bright. Oh, looks like Bianca is awake and ready to face the day. Why don't we just take care of everything? Then you can work on your responsibility, I guess. I think your homework is done. Oh wait, it's Saturday. She doesn't even have school today. Well, I guess we can just have her meet another sim at 6 a.m. Hear that, there's literally nobody around. <laughs> How about you, mom? Why don't you just do some chores? Help, help your mama out. All right, so she has to take care of some of her needs as well. What's, oh, she's gonna throw up. Uh, oh no, oh no, she just literally threw up right there. Oh no, but there's no throw up to clean up. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to just throw up right there. I guess I really should make another bathroom in here. I just don't know where I want to do that yet. Yeah, wow, you apparently need to use your bladder. Alright, alright, alright. Let's add another bathroom.
All right, so it's not perfect, but it will do. Not sure if I'm happy with the way this turned out. Actually, I'll let him finish going to the bathroom and then I'll change it up. Aww. Why don't you praise her for cleaning up? Parenting, encourage recipitation, doing dishes. What about all the other things? I think I'll make this bathroom a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be quite so big. And maybe just like a different type of door. It doesn't have to be a big, big door like that. Alright. Oh, you know what? I forgot the room. Now we have two bathrooms. We have the master bath and the family bath. Should be fine. Alright, so what can she do? Since it's the weekend, I feel like she needs to do something. Here, why don't you do a friendly introduction to Marcus Flex and Alice, you your needs are actually pretty good, so we should probably have her write another book. Maybe we'll have her do uh, another freelance thing. And him, he's eating, and then he needs to do some fun. So we can I'm just gonna click that so I don't accidentally cancel it. And then we'll have him play incredible sports on the laptop. And then after she meets him, let's have her play with some of her things and then she can practice some more socialization and how's this one do oh this one is getting really hungry and needs to go to the bathroom so why don't you go potty and ooh, um a gig okay let's find one that makes the most money um i thought she was level 10 in writing but it doesn't look like there's any gigs for a level 10. We have 2400. I think that's the, probably the most expensive one. So we'll do this one. And we should get some food for the child. Sure, some blackened baths. Excellent breakfast. Breakfast for a child. What are you doing? Oh, you're watching the child. Um, why don't you chat with client? And so what this one says, help our dystopian future. We need a freelancer to write chapters for their upcoming futuristic dystopia series featuring a group of disenchanted refugees from, okay, I did this one before. All right, it's all good. And so this is going to be a science fiction novel. At least she got to meet somebody new. I mean, I wasn't really going. Oh, she's. I thought she was supposed. To I thought that was people, but it's actually social skills. So that's fine. We'll just have her work on her social skills some more. Maybe she'll invite over Elsa because for some reason I want them to be BFFs. All right. How? She's in, she must be in her- yep, she's in her third trimester, so she definitely should be giving birth soon. I wonder what the gender will be this time. Alright, let's- oh, I thought I put that in the trash. No. Does she still- she's still going in the bathroom. It takes a while. It's hard when you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Let's get your skill up. You should be eating. 
I know, you're very upset, I understand. Sorry if you're hearing the bells, apparently my cat has decided that it's playtime even though when I started recording it was nap time. Guess you just never know what they're gonna want to do. I feel like I just heard somebody say Sharknado. Elijah! Bums, I'm sorry, Bubby. You're gonna have to go. You're making too much noise. Where'd your other toy go? Here you go! Royalties. We should have her write more books so we can continue to get more royalties. All right. Where is Bianca? So she's doing pretty good. I just want her to. Oh wait, she, you're done eating already. I don't know why, but like for some reason, she just won't. Like, the toddlers just won't finish their food. Like, you're still hungry. Just finish eating and you'll be done. Okay, so she's feeling inspired, so we should probably just go jump right in to writing the science fiction book. Don't have a name in mind, probably just gonna use whatever that they give. Or how about... Dystopia. Is this the new utopia? And I spelled utopia wrong. Good job. Alright. She's doing pretty good. How are you? Isn't you aren't you supposed to Okay, so he's actually already reached the skill levels he needs. But I imagine he'll have to keep on going. What are his skills? He's five. We should probably get him up to at least six to match programming. So he can continue. She, are you, did you finally eat everything? Okay. So then let's have you, you can come in here. Oh, this will be good. And uh, where are your, so you're done with imagination. So let's have you do thinking. And then, you can babble to your sister, and then your sister can work on her skills by talking to you while you are. And then we can work on both of their communication skills. See that? See that? Ask about another sim. That's interesting. <laughs> Tell a goofy story. It'll be delightful. Are you still talking? It doesn't seem like you guys are still talking. Are you guys still talking? Did you ask about her? Tell a goofy story. Is it because she you can't really see her? You can that over here. More choices, friendly. I want you to ask, be like, what do you think of mom? I like how you can still hear the dad through the, through the screen. Oh, what do you think? Of oh, look at thumbs up. Mom's doing a good job. All right, let's tell another goofy story. Make funny faces. Oh, no, not goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Oh. 
Oh, you don't. You need a shower, dude. Why use your new shower? How about that? You're halfway there. She just reached level five. Amazing. So now she needs to make a BFF. Ooh, mom needs to use the toilet. Um, why don't you use the toilet? And then you can. Wait. Like. Can't use the toilet. Alright, use this one. Is that better? Can you use this now? I know, you really need to pee. There's a toilet right there. Okay, I guess. Weird. Alright, so why don't you get leftovers and then why don't you invite Oh look at Oh Lucas came over Why don't you become best friends with him? I kinda wanted Elsa, but it's so cute that Lucas came over, so I just want them now to be best friends. Maybe her and Lucas will get together. When they grow up, we'll have to age him up with her. Yeah, we're just gonna become good friends with you, buddy. Oh, wait, I already did that like five times. Let's find another thing to do. Let's quote a cartoon character. Let's. Talk about cold temperature. It's kind of chilly out here. Why are we standing out here? Uh, why don't we... It's about candy. Why don't we... Discuss food flavors. This grilled cheese is the best thing ever. Um... How about we get to know? Careers. The child doesn't have a career. Get to know. Monkey around. Play make believe. Get to know. Discuss interests. He loves the outdoors. How cute. He's a part of Garden Gnomes and League of Adventures. Okay, so how is she doing? She's tired. So why don't we have you give Brianna a bubble bath and then she can take a nap afterwards. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh gosh, that noise. All right, um, so she just finished her book. Well, how is this book, by the way? It's a bestseller. Ugh, I almost don't want to. Whatever, we'll write another book. I kind of want to make it into like the monthly thing, but at the same time, um, why don't you just write a confident book? Or a motivational book. Yes, you will feel great after your little bath. You know what? Why don't you go potty afterwards and then sleep? And then he's bored. You rock a celebration of you. That sounds like the perfect title. No editing needed. Here, why don't you. Why don't you potty train while you. Oh, she's sitting on. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at they're still chitty chatting. They're just having the del most delightful conversation. Let's cloud gaze together. Wow, this place has a lot of leaves. I guess we don't really have many trees, so we don't really have leaves on our thing. Oh, they're gonna cloud gaze. It's gonna be adorable. There we go.
And the romance festival's in town. <laughs> not for you, children. Not for you. She's gonna go take a nap. They're working on their friendship. Is this that la the last level of this? Oh no, she has to become friends with three children, become friends with two adults, and achieve ten of social skill. Again, I'm just doing this because it's the weekend and she doesn't have school, but pretty much like once she goes to school, she's going to age up. I just want her to get an A. Then she really needs to work on her skills. She's just really slacking. But I kind of thinking, why don't you guys go on a day? You guys haven't been out since you guys had children. We can hire a nanny. Everything will be awesome. Uh, we will go to Del Sol Valley and no, wrong place. Maraschino, where are you? San Mancino. Uh, I keep on calling it Maraschino. I like the cherries. The Roman Festival is here. Perfect. This will be amazing. Maybe they'll even renew their vows. How cute would that be? They're like, we've got another one on the way. We've got to fit this in while we can. Fit in the romance. What are you wearing? Uh, why don't you change outfit? You don't have any shoes on. Um, why don't we do... It is winter time. Why don't we have them dress like it's actually the weather they're in? Alright, and then why don't you guys... Um, and pour Sakura tea together. It's gonna be delightful. And then... You already have to pee? Alright, go pee, go pee. You can go pee. I'm tell- don't return to active lot to go to the bathroom. There's a bathroom here somewhere. Use bathroom. It's right there. I guess he needs to use bathroom. I guess I should have made sure their needs were up before we, uh... Let me... Remember... Oh, socialize with... How do I socialize with... Lucas! And I can't do anything. Come on, go pee before you pee yourself, please. Apparently she's also starving. So why don't we sit together there? Then we can ask about day. How was your day? It's a Saturday, so we were together always, so I hope it was good. Why don't you give her a little massage? Why don't you be enticing because it is the romance festival. Maybe I should face them instead of watching from behind. There we go. Flirt with your date while flirty. You are flirty. I had a flirty dream about you. We flirted. Ooh, can we do a passionate kiss already? Are we flirty enough for that? Passionate kiss. Probably not a great idea to do that with a pregnant lady, but you know. And then, you know, she could do a little. Who's, who's aggravated right now? Jeez. Why don't we. Funny. Let's tell a dirty joke. <laughs> Three white horses jumped into a puddle of mud. Bunch. And then, why don't you joke about old times? And then she could do like a little like inside joke. You know, we're gonna crush this date. Do, 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 do. 
I know, you're so hungry. Let's have a... Here, why don't you guys get something to eat? There's food somewhere over here. That's not food. This is food. Let's order some ramen. Sure, you're going to be frustrated that you don't have chopsti chopstick skills, but, you know, gotta start somewhere. It will be delicious. Did you order? Order food, ramen. Order food, ramen. I guess while we're waiting, why don't you have a deep conversation? There you go, you got your food. Oh, and he should have his food. Come on, eat. No, that was his food. Oh well, he's not as hungry as her, so... Let's have another deep conversation. We want this date to be a gold date. I'm clicking on the wrong person. Why don't you mention the flirty vibe? Share excitement. Oh. He socialized with his date. Oh, I didn't even ask about career. You should know what your wife's career is. You guys have been married for some time now. Express admiration. I feel like there's something wrong here, because this should be filling up. Because they've definitely interacted more than ten times. Ask about it. Maybe she has to do it? She's gonna pass out any moment now. Oh gosh. There we go. <laughs> well, at least we got the gold date. <laughs> she's gonna pass out because she's exhausted. Probably not gonna be good for the baby. Oh no. Well, when she wakes up, let's renew our vows and then we'll go home. I know, it's it's tough life. That's the thing, it's, you know, when you have kids and you have to wake up early to all the time, it starts getting hard to stay up late. And this is too late for her, clearly. Yeah, let's renew our vows, even though you are so miserable. Aw, look at them. So cute. Middle of winter time. Aww. Aww. Aww, so cute. Nice Garga. little gold star. Aww. Can I kiss? Inara Zeploya Mersdale. Aww. Aww, that's so cute. She's tired and has to pee again. She's like, I have to pee, but I love you so much. I just can't. I can't give up this opportunity to renew vows. Alright, and then you guys go home. Even though there's such pretty things going on. It really is such a nice festival. I wish festivals like this happened more often. Ugh. Alright, you know what? We are just going... To... Travel's not allowed for this sim at this time. Oh. Are you even gonna make... No, you're not even gonna make it home. Brock, you left your pregnant wife. Oh no. No, wake up. I will teleport you home. Alright, we'll just go home. I'm like, where do we even live anymore? I don't even know. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's just go home. Hopefully she can make it to the bathroom in time. I don't have high hopes for her, though. Come on. Use. 
Make it to the bathroom, and then you can sleep. What? Why don't you get leftovers, and then I guess we didn't become BFFs with Lucas yet, but he can come over tomorrow. Um, where are you at? You need to use the toilet. Why don't you go potty? And then you should go to bed. And you, you should grab some leftovers. And then go to bed. And she's okay for food for now. She kind of just wants to have fun, so why don't you play with dolls and then go to sleep. I'm like, am I not cooking sleep? Yeah, you go to the bathroom. Maybe your potty will... Ah, uh, that's still- that's gonna take a few more potties before it's level 3. We are getting there. It'd be great if today we can get her aged up. Alright, so you're starving. Why don't you clean out spoil food? And then get some leftovers. Geez, you're already up. Why don't you take a shower? Well, let's have you practice your speech. You know what? At this point, apparently you're going to just need to use the bathroom first before you eat. Oh, she went into labor. I think I'll have her eat first before we go to the hospital because she's starving. Forget about cleaning out, just grab something to eat. Wow. Okay, and then you can have baby at hospital and let's join. And of course, Brock needs to come. I don't know why they would offer those other people to come. But it is what it is. All right, baby number three. She's like, I already know what to do. I'm going in. It's time. She's not even checking in. She's like, I'm just going to the delivery room. It is time. I should look in the comments to see if anybody left a comment on a name. I don't believe so, but I will check anyway. I wonder if it's going to be a boy or a girl. We've had two girls, so it might be a boy this time. So, no comments. Wow, this is taking a while. Oh, it's a boy! Alright, so we need a boy's name. Let's see. Boy's names... That... Begin with B. Hmm. We have a Brock. How about a Brody? Those names seem to go together. Brock and Brody. Brody. Zeta. Ah, little Brody Zeta. And he's like, no, another child, what am I going to do? And she still insists on wearing this. I really need to change that. Aww, all cute. Time to go home. Everybody go home. All right, we got our third baby. And I think that's where we're going to stop. Three babies, no more. 
Okay, so why don't you feed the baby and bounce, cuddle, rock the baby. And you, oh, don't go outside, don't go outside. It's cold, go potty, sure. Why don't you mop, ooh. Apparently this bathroom needs to be cleaned. And then why don't you potty train? And you know what? We are going to... I don't have any dressers, do I? You know what? We are going to... Change up everybody's outfits. Well, hey, nice. not really. Warbo. Think... His every day. Let's get him some pants without holes. Mm. Sure, that looks fine. Don't really care so much. I think their outfits are fine, although I do, do need to put shoes on her. Shoes, please. Um, I feel like these should be boots. How about some brown boots? Sure. Um... The children. I think her outfit's fine. I mean, it is winter time now, and she's gonna grow up this season, so we can always change it later. Maybe we'll just add some stockings, because that looks like it's pretty chilly. So. Hmm, some white tights, maybe. And we'll give her some boots, too. There we go. That's a good winter outfit. And if she's gonna age up, I'm not gonna change her outfit too much. And I think her outfits are fine, too. So really, I just wanted to add boots to this. <laughs> not feeling really like I need to do huge makeover, especially when some of these children will be aging up. All right. So I think this is where we'll leave it. We got baby number, oops. Baby number three right here. He's adorable. And he's gonna be a big help in getting Alice towards her goal because she's now gonna be friends with three of her children and she just needs to work on aging up Bianca so that she can grow up and get married and then that will help Alice complete her goals. And then I think we'll have baby Brianna be the new or the new person for the next generation B. So like she'll kind of be like the person we focus on for generation B. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel and click the little bell next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you in the next part.